with early sales numbers showing that Cyber Monday is already ahead of previous years. What does this mean for the growing online trend for advertisers who are now trying to attract a growing number of online shoppers? Earlier today, I spoke with Andrew Robertson, CEO of advertising agency BBDO Worldwide, whose clients include eBay, Motorola, and FedEx. I asked him how increasing e-commerce on mobile devices is affecting ad campaigns. You've got to understand what it is that's driving consumer behavior on a day like Cyber Monday. Uh, and our hypothesis is it's the one day of the year when the behavior of women online is, is much more like that of men. If you look at the way men and women shop online, men tend to be much more focused on the destination, getting in, getting what they need, and getting out, whereas women are more interested in getting the opinions of others, uh, in sharing their opinions on the things that they're contemplating buying. And as a result, women tend to spend about 40% longer making a purchase online than men do. That's true for 364 days of the year. Our belief is that for today, for Cyber Monday, uh, when three quarters of women are in there shopping for other people, putting a list, you know, shopping from a list, they're probably more like men in terms of the way they want to get in, get what they need and get out. So what that means is you have to create a, a, an experience, a user experience for those shoppers that is simple to use and where speed, speed of, uh, of movement from, from step to step and out again uh, has an enormous premium. Well, one of the things we're seeing is that Cyber Monday may be more like cyber every day and that even on Black Friday, a lot of shopping was happening in uh, online rather than in stores. Is that something that you guys are seeing as well? Absolutely. And, and it comes back to the point I was making about how much more convenient it is for, for, shop, for many shoppers to shop online versus, uh, you know, getting in a car, driving to a mall and, and struggling. There's some data that shows that online shoppers will abort uh, uh, the site if it takes more than three seconds for a page to load. Well, three seconds in the context of an online experience seems like too much. For anybody who's, uh, you know, who's spent time battling through crowds, it doesn't seem like very long at all in a store. So, so some people are definitely preferring to do their shopping online. And as you rightly say, that's true throughout the year, not just, um, not just on Cyber Monday versus Cyber Friday. David Lubars, another BBDO executive, recently said that TV has to be at the epicenter of every ad campaign. But with the rise of smartphones and tablets, gadgets on which you can actually buy stuff, how important is TV advertising really? Um, it, t TV advertising is hugely important. If you look at the data, uh, more people are spending more time watching the thing that we call television than ever before, and that's true in every single age cohort. Um, so, you know, by definition, if that's where consumers are spending it, their time, that's a very important place for us to be as advertisers. But when David made that remark, he wasn't saying uh, that there isn't a very important role for knitting together your television activity with your digital activity, with your in-store activity. And really, if you, you know, if, if, if I had to if I, if I was only allowed three great three things to do, I would do TV, I would do digital, and I would do in-store. You mentioned Facebook. How is social media changing? What trends are you seeing in terms of customers responding to advertising on social media? Well, I think that um, you know the, the, the various forms of advertising on social media and the nature of the consumer response varies depending which form you're talking about. One of the most interesting things is uh, the focus that is being put on fans uh, uh, and likes, you know, uh, as if just because those are things that are relatively easy to count, they have real value. And I, 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 my caveat here is that just as a, it was a big mistake five years ago when all we used to do was count clicks, so too it is a big mistake today to just count fans uh, because the value of a fan uh, the quality of that friendship is much more important than the number, than the quantity of them. How is the role of Google changing in particular with respect to the shift in advertising from search to display and mobile? Is it possible that Google could get left behind in all of this or out innovated? Um, well, uh, history says that that's always possible, but I, uh, but I, I don't think that um, the emphasis is shifting from search to display, I think what you're seeing is display being added to a, a steadily growing uh, search business. And there's no question, when I talked about how men like to shop online, there's no question of the value of search. They want to find out what they need to find out, get in and buy it and get out again as fast as possible. So uh, I don't think 
you know, I don't think Google's search business is at risk from anybody else's display business. I think that they're, they're growing together. That was Andrew Robertson, CEO of the advertising firm BBDO.